I'm a lonely Goomba, stuck between two pipes. Well, guess I'll keep on gaming for the rest of my life. Hey up, chaps, it's been a while, eh? But it's time for another Ask a Goomba. I wasn't gonna do one, but you guys just did not stop asking. It just never stopped. So, you win. Here you go. Oh yeah, and say hello to our special guest, Nathaniel Bandy. Everyone loves Nathaniel Bandy, right? Uh, you don't have to answer that, because it might hurt his feelings. Shy Guy asks, what's your opinion on Shy Guys? Well, I just want to know why they're called Shy Guys. Because they definitely ain't shy. I mean, they out playing tennis, they're driving carts, they're sucking on a toad. It don't look like they're shy to me, matey. Just because they got a mask on doesn't mean they're shy. I mean, look, I got a mask on, but am I shy? No, I'm still an asshole. That guy from there asked, what's inside you? A miserable little pile of secrets. Chris the Gamer 666 asked, why doesn't Gaijin Goomba help you out of the pipes? Because he likes to feel superior to me. I mean, if I got out of these pipes, what's to stop me from putting on a little ninja outfit? I could start talking about anime and Japan and all that shit and blammo. Before you know it, I'm stepping on his turf and he's starting to worry. Or, uh, something like that. Tyler Wagner asks, why not just build a set of stairs out of the bad games? Me, how often do you say mint condition cardboard game box? Never. But always squashed flat or ripped apart and shit. If you think I'm gonna walk all over these, you've got another thing coming. These things are worth a fortune. It's just a shame about them constantly vanishing on the next scene. Ah shit, it happened again. Plague the Mudkip asks, what's your opinion on the other races of Goombas? Like Gloomba, Goomba, etc. Why you gotta make everything about race? We're all Goombas, we can all live in peace. Ain't no Goomba supremacy going on here, laddie. Having said that, Goombas are the best though, aren't they? Let's be honest. Kevin Hull asks, are you gonna do an Ask Goomba video? No. Jamie Nugget asks, what was your life like before the pipes? Well, let's see. I was born and I was stuck in a crib. Then I grew up a bit and I was stuck in a shitty school. And then I got a job and I was stuck in a cubicle. Then I moved here and I was stuck between two pipes. So in short, I was stuck a lot. Muscular Madness asks, why do you sound like a depressed fuck? Because I am a depressed fuck. CJL asks, can you kill Mario in 0 .0001 seconds? Ooh, just did it. Jame9781 asks, if you were to have a nose, what would you do? I don't know, Jame, maybe he would smell? That, that would be my first impression, but maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Let's see what he has to say. Well, funny you'd say that, because uh, I just had some work done on my nose. See, I've been told by focus groups that viewers really relate to people with noses. So, uh... What do you think? Only downside is, everything bloody stinks of piss and shit now. I can't believe I live in this film. Well, I guess it's true what they say. Ignorance is bliss when you're smelling like piss. Stropion N asks, what would your intro look like in the late 2019? Probably the same as it does now, as I can't afford a new intro. So, better get used to it, eh? goku Sun asks, have you ever destroyed half the universe? I did once, actually, but, uh... No one noticed. I mean, how would you know either way? Can't exactly pop your head out the window and have a look at Alpha Universe, can you? Luminal Warrior 9 asks, Are you secretly Bowser Jr.? There's no secret about it. I've been quite open about the fact I'm actually Bowser Jr. The Pringles Guy asks, Goombas have feet. Why can't they jump? Have you ever tried jumping without legs? I mean, you think just because someone has feet, they can suddenly jump like pros? Having said that, you're not even right anyway. Goombas can jump. Just look. See, he's jumping. But to be honest, right, I'm just incredibly unfit. I mean, wouldn't you after you've been sat on your arse playing games for five years? Emerald Foxboy asks... Who's that Pokemon? That, my friend, is a Jigglypuff. Koda Bogovic asks, how do I make women to find me attractive? Well, first, you want to grow your eyebrows out a bit, you know. Make them all big and bushy. They really dig that. Then, make sure you don't brush your teeth for a few months so they get this lovely yellow piss-stained glow. And if you're feeling really confident, make sure you're sleep-depraved to develop these sexy little bags under your eyes. I'm telling you, you'll have more women than you know what to do with in a bit. Take it from the expert. Javier Alonso Martinez asks, Does time stop after you're not in the screen? 
No, I just stand here and I just stare out into nothing. Yeah, that's right. You think it's all fun and games between these pipes, don't you? Well, no, it's months of complete and utter boredom. Oh, it's time fucking stop when I'm not on screen. This is it's fucking shit. Turtle Warlord asks, You've taken a lot of different shapes over the years. Did these transformations frighten you? What do you mean? I look the same as I always have. The same old Goomba you know and love. Fraser Ripe asks, You're an expert on all things Goomba, right? So could you explain how the big Goombas in the new Super Mario Bros. games transform into two smaller Goombas when Mario stomps on them? Well, you know like when kids want to sneak into the movies, they buy a big trench coat and stack up on top of each other and pretend to be an adult. It's basically that. They're just a bunch of phonies. There's no such thing as a giant Goomba. It's just two Goombas in a trench coat. Will McDenu asks, Have you ever considered shaving your giant ass unibrow? Mate, it's not a unibrow. It's quite clearly separated by this strange, ungodly lump of flesh protruding from my forehead. I think it might be a tumor actually, but either way, two eyebrows, get it right. Now, if you don't mind, I have a very important tumor removal surgery to attend to. The Champion of Morrowind asks, How do your consoles never run out of charge? Well, you might find this hard to believe, but with the power of science. Now, let's look at this. <clears throat> Scientists develop new battery from a mushroom. See? That's all the evidence you need to see. Don't worry about reading the article. The headline is all you need to know. Ross Carter asks, How do you think the world will end? Well, it'll be like any other day, really. People will be minding their own business, going on with their days. And then suddenly, from nowhere, everything will go dark, and a weird switch sound effect will play. And that will be the end of the world. Oh, shit. And the patron of the week is Croco Dude, combining crocodiles and dudes to create the world's coolest creature, the Croco Dude. 